Welcome back, this is Raven's Ballist. So... I have a date with, um... Surgery. It's in about two weeks or so. Less than two weeks. And I'm, like, super nervous about it. <clears throat> Some of my family know about it. Um, posted on my normal social media. And... My dad said everything's going to be fine and stuff, but he jokes around some of the stuff. And my community is really supportive and stuff, and they want to play a bunch of games before I go into surgery. The like co-op games. Um, I'm really nervous about it. I'm, like, really nervous about it. It's causing my anxiety, like, through the roof. And... I don't know where I am with this right now because it's just it's driving me it's driving me nuts it's like I'm super worried about it because it's a super it's a major shirt surgery it's not just like someone's like yeah I'll be out for like two days but I'm like thinking of all the things that can go wrong and stuff and that's where I'm at like with that um I'm thinking that because I'm, I'm afraid that it's not going to be benign uh, and it's something worse, but I don't want to say it. I don't talk about that. Um, and my my one of my cokers had the idea that said, "Hey, why don't you um like do like a journey your surgery and stuff?" He's like, "You should totally film your surgery." I'm like, "You can't film the surgery. They won't let me film the surgery in there for reasons." But I'm gonna probably do a um, before thing, like, "Hey, I'm at the hospital." And then an after thing. But it's like definitely with this coming up. Um, highly stressed out. It's like a million things going through my head. It's like I want to do a million things because I think like the worst situation is going to happen or something. And I also don't want to do anything because my anxiety is so up there. I mean it's, it's major. It's... I have to be there like an hour and a half before surgery. And it's just like, oh my god. Just. And then they recommend that someone be with me overnight. And it's like, yeah, I'll have someone home. But it's like, I don't know. It's just driving me crazy. Freaking me the fuck out, basically. Excuse my language, but it is. And, uh,. Like I said, I'll, I'll document the the journey, whatever, like my coworker said, he's like, just do it, dude. Um, my community is pretty behind me and with everything, but I still feel alone. I really feel alone. And there's a major reason why I feel alone, but I'm not gonna get into it. Like, I have my community. I have a few of my friends and my family and stuff, but Ultimately, like, I feel alone in the whole situation with this. And it's not something you want to go through alone. Like, I'm, I have arranged pick up and drop off because I'm like, I, I will be going. They're going to have to knock me out. I can't be away for it. So I've arranged pick up and drop off, but like the whole thing there, it's like, I'm not gonna have anyone waiting for with me, so it's just the thought of someone waiting there, and then someone waiting after besides pick up and drop off. It just sucks, like because, like I said, I'm thinking the worst. So, anyways, I'll keep putting out like Apex content and Dead by Daylight content. I'm still streaming until then. Um, I will be not streaming. Um, the night before because I have to get up super early for it and probably the night of and we'll see how I feel the day after like my full day rest period about streaming or not so it'll probably be about three days without streaming and that's coming up in a week and a half um we'll see where I feel there but that's why we're gonna push 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 real hard uh this week and part of next week to um get the content out there like just have some fun and uh yeah it's only concern have fun 
and uh, not worry about too much stuff. So this is Raven's Bullist. list. Um, there's source for Dead by Daylight and Apex Legends news and other gaming news, and I'll keep you guys updated.